In this video, I'm going to show you how to choose some keywords to get started advertising on Google AdWords. If you haven't already done so, you're going to want to watch the Getting Started with Google AdWords video that I've prepared and creating your first campaign. If you've already created your first campaign, go ahead and click on Reporting and Tools and go down to Keyword Tool. Google's prepared this nice little keyword tool to help you find relevant keywords and keyword phrases that have to do with your products and services. These are basically the keywords and keyword phrases that real people type into search engines every day when they're looking for products and services like yours. Some things you'll want to keep in mind when choosing keywords are geographical boundaries. For example, if you're a plumber, and you want to target a keyword like plumber, you probably be better off targeting a keyword like Marysville plumber if you were in the geographic boundary of let's say Marysville. When starting out, try to avoid broad keywords like plumber so that you don't blow your budget on Google AdWords. Typically, broad keywords are less relevant and more expensive per click and you don't want to get discouraged spending all your money too quickly. So start with highly targeted relevant keywords that have to do with your products and services. Using my plumbing website as an example, I'm going to type in a few keywords and phrases that one might expect to type in while I'm looking for a plumber in Marysville. Notice I type in both singular and plural of, the phrase, of some phrases. Once you've typed in a few keywords, go ahead and click on the search button. Google will return hundreds of results suggesting other keywords and keyword phrases that someone might be likely to type in to look for your product or service as well. What I then do is I review this list and I look over here most importantly at this local monthly searches, searches column. I click on the link to see which search terms are the most popular. Then I go down the list and oftentimes this jogs my brain and gives me ideas for new keywords. For example, now I'm reminded that as a plumber in Marysville, I not only service plumbing needs, but I also service hot water heaters and leaky toilets, uh, clogged sink drains, and things like that. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and type in some of my other ideas. And as I type in those ideas, I'm going to go ahead and run my keyword suggestion tool again. And really what you want to do is go over this again and again and get more ideas for more keywords and keyword phrases that are highly targeted for your business. Once you're ready to add these keywords to your account, you can just click these little check boxes and click add keywords. You'll need to choose which campaign and which ad group you want to use for each one of these keywords. I have a campaign named Marysville Plumber and an ad group that has the default name of Ad Group 1. I'm going to save those to that campaign and that ad group and explain a little bit more about that now. Basically, a campaign is a broad package of all your different little advertising groups. And an ad group is a smaller package that contains targeted keywords. So, for example, as a Marysville plumber, I service your basic plumbing needs, but I also take care of hot waters and I also, or hot water tanks, and I also tend to uh, unclog a lot of uh, clogged drains and, and things like that. So, I might label my campaign. Marysville Plumber, and I might have three ad groups. One I might call hot water tank keywords, another I might call plumbing keywords, 
and still yet another, I might say, clogged drain keywords. And what you want to do is populate each one of those ad groups with keywords and keyword phrases that are relevant to uh, the, those particular niches and create a special ad just for them. For example, in my plumbing or plumbers ad group, I might say Marysville Plumber in the title of my ad. But in the hot water tank uh, repair ad group, my ad should say Marysville Hot Water Tank Repair in, in the title section. So uh, to create a new ad group, what you do is just go ahead and click on Create New Campaign. You'll see another button here that says Create New Ad Group or New, new Ad Group with a little plus sign. And then you'll just give that ad group a name. So I'm going to say Marysville Hot Water Tank Keyword. And then I'm going to go ahead and make these keywords all about hot water tank repair. Well, I can't put all that on Marysville Hot Water Tank. Hot water tank repair. And what this will do is it will actually end up saving you a lot of money on your advertising and help you get better search engine ranking because Google will determine that your ads are more relevant and more likely to be clicked on. And the way Google works is if they feel that your ad is more relevant and it provides a better search result, you're going to be rewarded by actually getting charged less than your competition for a higher position in their search engine. So, for example, uh, let's say I'm paying a dollar per click for a qualified lead for a hot water tank and a competitor might pay two dollars per click because the number of people that see his ad and click on it is significantly lower than the number of people that see my ad and click on it. That's called a click-through rate, by the way. So the higher your click-through rate, then typically the more relevant Google sees your ad as being and therefore offers you a lower price to get a higher ranking on the search results. So once you've created your campaign, go ahead and save your keywords. But I hope you find this video is a good guideline for organizing both keywords and keyword phrases that have to do with your video. And I guarantee that if you follow the steps that I've done here, that you are going to have a lot more success than just dumping a bunch of keywords into a general campaign. Don't forget to watch the other videos that I've prepared on how to be successful with Google AdWords. There's a video about creating your first campaign and getting started. There's one targeted towards writing an ad that will improve those click-through rates and be more relevant to Google and uh, much more.